Hi everyone, welcome to Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a keto lifestyle. Today I am doing a what I eat in a day video. It is two days after Christmas and I am just wanting to bring the reins in a little bit, sort of tighten things up a little bit. I really didn't do too bad over Christmas. I may have overate a little, but I stayed keto. I do feel like I had too many nut flowers and that kind of thing. I do use almond flour but I use it on occasion and over the holidays we just had a lot of treats and crust for quiche and different things that I used almond flour in. So I just feel like I had a little too much of that. Otherwise, I really stayed on track. I'm holding my phone right now. It might be a little unsteady. My tripod is out in my car right now. I may go get it in a little bit, but it's snowy out there and cold and I just didn't want to go out and get it. I'm spending the day watching my littlest grandson. He is six months old. He is in there right now taking a nap, so I thought I would grab something something to eat while he is napping, and I'm keeping it really clean today. I have three scrambled eggs here that I scrambled in ghee, and I have four slices of bacon. I like to make my bacon in batches. I typically will make them in the oven or in the air fryer, and then I will store them in the refrigerator, and then when it is time for some bacon i can just zap it in the microwave for a couple of seconds and i've got bacon and i'm also having some coffee here and in my coffee i have about a tablespoon of butter i whipped it up in there with my little hand milk frother and that is going to be my breakfast for today so january I am sort of going back to the basics of keto. I'm gonna be eating really clean. If you wanna follow along with me for the month of January, that would be great, we could do it together. But I am really gonna focus on eating whole, one ingredient foods and keeping my carbs really low. I typically keep my carbs under 20 total carbs a day. I don't count net carbs, I count total carbs. So I'm gonna be focusing on that for the month of January. If you wanna join me, let me know down in the comments. We can do it together. We can encourage one another. I think that would be wonderful. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I'll be back in a little while to update you on what I'm eating today. So it is time for a quick snack and I am gonna be having a Too Good yogurt. These Too Good yogurts are delicious. They are low in sugar and they are low in carbs and they have a lot of different flavors. I took five pecans and I just chopped them up and I'm just having them on top. I like to add a little crunch to my yogurt, so I usually add a little bit of nuts onto the top of my yogurt. And I'm also having some water with Relight Electrolyte Powder. I always drink my electrolytes throughout the day. There goes my grandson, I'm gonna have to go. So I'm gonna go and have my water with my electrolytes and my yogurt for my snack. And I will be back in a little bit. I'll see you soon. So it is 1.30 and we're having some quiet time right now. My little grandson is here sleeping again. This is his second nap since he's been here. I'm just sitting here gonna catch up on some of my shows and I'm having a little snack. And let's see, how can I do this with one hand? Let me turn the camera around. I don't know how well you can see this, but this is a bubbly carbonated water, coconut pineapple flavor, and it's really good. And I'm having some Max pork rinds. Actually, these are pork cracklings and they are zero carb and pork cracklings have some of the skin attached to them still. These are very crunchy. They are fried in pork fat and they just have some salt on them. Very clean ingredients, zero carbs. This is a great snack and the great thing about these are they are very filling. You can have a handful of these and you are feeling pretty satisfied. I have my dog on my lap here. So I'm feeling pretty cozy about right now. I have my little grandbaby here all snuggled up, my cat up here behind me, and I have the remote control and some snacks. So life is pretty good right now. I will see you in just a little bit. It is 4.30 and I am ready for dinner. I eat my dinner around 4.30 or five o'clock. Then I have a little time afterwards to maybe drink a cup of coffee or have something like that. And tonight I made one of my favorite meals to make and that is a taco bowl. My taco bowls are really simple. Um, I have taco meat in here. It is a pretty generous portion. I make my own taco seasoning. I will link my recipe down below. I like to have Munster cheese on my taco meat. I didn't have a block of Munster cheese to shred. I had a couple of slices, so I cut them up into little pieces, put them on here. And then I put a little bit of salsa on here. This is my own salsa that I made. I just blended up some tomatoes, 
onions and cilantro from my garden and I'm just using that up. I also like to buy these little cups of guacamole from Aldi. They are portioned out and I have that on top of that. Sometimes I will throw jalapenos on here. It just depends on what I am in the mood for. Today, I'm just keeping it simple. I will be back in just a little while to wrap up this video. See you soon. In my night, I am having a cup of decaf coffee. This is Nespresso. This is a Nespresso machine that I'm using. I have a milk frother here. I frothed up some milk and I'm using Fairlife whole milk and I put about a tablespoon into my frother. So I'm having that. And then I am gonna be having some Stevia English toffee drops. These are so good. I don't know if we could focus on that, but you get 288 servings and I have different flavors. Just put about 10 or so drops in there and it is really good in coffee. I have chocolate. I have coconut. I have pumpkin spice. I use this a lot in the fall. Not been using that so much lately and I have cinnamon. And I also have peppermint, but it's not in here right now. That's really good in coffee or in hot chocolate. So tonight I am having English toffee. So it is 5.30 and my son just picked up my grandson and I am going to just finish off the night drinking this coffee. Tonight I chose decaf coffee. Sometimes I do half-calf. Sometimes I drink caffeinated coffee in, in the evening, depending on how I feel. I talked a little earlier about cleaning it up for January, eating very clean keto and really making sure that I keep my carbs under 20 grams. Well, I made a post today over on my Facebook group. If you haven't joined my group over on Facebook, go over there and check it out, Low Carb Revelation. I share a lot of things over there. Sometimes I share things that I don't share on YouTube. Sometimes I'll share a recipe or something over there that I made up quickly and I didn't have time to put it into a video. Sometimes I will just do what I eat in a day videos by just doing snapshots of my food and posting it over there as well. I do have an Instagram as well, so you can go over there and check that out. I'm very active on my Facebook group though. I made a post over in my group today about how I'm gonna clean it up for January and just make sure that I am honoring my body with the foods that I put in it. I just wanna have a clean month and just make sure that I am just eating really clean keto. And I have invited anyone who wants to join in with me for the month of January to eat clean keto, please feel free. I don't have a meal plan. I don't have anything that I can sell to you. I am gonna create a clean keto food shopping list that you can take over to the grocery store and get your food stocked up for the month of January. I'm going to try my hardest to do a what I eat in a day video every day for the month of January. Now, because I am human and things happen and I may not be able to post a video, make sure you are following my Facebook group if you want to join in on eating clean keto for the month of January. I will be posting every day over there. If you're interested in doing that along with me, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on those videos and hit the little notification bell so you can know when I post a video and make sure you give me a thumbs up for this video because it really helps my channel grow. And I'm excited for the month of January and for the new year to stay clean and healthy. I will see you very soon. Have a great day and God bless.